says, I'm a bad guy or something, he must have got a ticket from me. This is uh, no parking any time zone. These streets are kind of small, and fire trucks can't get down there if they're parked on both sides of the street. Plus, it's clearly posted. There's no parking on this side of the street. I'm going to give her a ticket, then I'm going to give you one. They got a parking lot. You got to pull it in. He just ignored me. That's big time disrespect. Now they're going to get a ticket. There's a sign right here on the pole that says no parking any time. Clear as day. Now I got to go talk to this guy. He should know better. There's no way in the world I can park that truck in here. There's no way in the world I can park that truck in here. This room in here, you can get that in there. I can park it in there? Yeah, you can okay, get it in there. There's a car parked here. I got this pole here. Well, There's no way in the world I can park that truck in You know, you here. just can't park like that. I'm only going to be here for less than 10 minutes. Oh, it don't work like that. The sign means no minutes. It's a safety issue. What happens if there's a fire down the street and a fire truck's trying to get by and he can't get by because you're blocking? Well, how often does that happen? <laughs> there's a fire anything here, I got to get on my truck and move this truck. It's an emergency. That's yeah, what I have I to know, do. I know, but the signs say no parking okay. any time. Hey, come on, I'm trying to do a job here. How do you expect me to make this delivery? I don't know how you're going to make it. I'm going by the sign. It, it don't say loading zone. The signs are there for a reason. Do what you have to do. OK. I'm only going to be here for five to 10 minutes most. You gonna give me a ticket for that? Let him do what he's gotta do. I'm not gonna argue. Either way, I'm gonna lose anyway. He wants to see me do my job, I'm gonna do it. It's BS. I gave him a chance. This is Providence. The streets ain't as wide as New York. There's people that live down here that complain every day about people parking on this side of the street. He should probably have a little more respect for them. Well, I gotta be more careful now, obviously, so I won't have to pay the, my company has to pay for these tickets. But I don't know. If you see the area, I have no idea where am I going to park this truck to get the delivery done. He can park that big truck right along over there, walk his stuff over. But no, it's easier to block the street. Yeah, it's tough being a commercial driver on Broad Street. But the sign says no parking. The sign means no parking. You got to respect the people that live here. You have to respect the neighborhood. For an older city, Providence is pretty spread out. Downtown Providence is very busy. The traffic moves along pretty quickly on the street. We try to keep this area clear for the traffic to move. Check this out. This Ford truck here is parked uh, in a no parking zone facing the wrong way on a one-way street. It's a bad spot because there's a driveway right behind it. So if people are trying to pull out onto South Main Street, their view is going to be obstructed, and that's how accidents happen. <laughs> All right, there doesn't seem to be anybody with this vehicle. It's obviously a violation, because the sign is very clear, actually. So we're going to go ahead and issue this one. How are you today, man? Well, no parking anytime. We're going in and out. We're making a delivery. I'm making a delivery. It's a loading zone. It's not a loading zone. It's no parking anytime. If it was a loading zone, the sign would say loading zone. Plus, this is a one-way street. You're facing the wrong way. Now, if someone's going to pull out of that driveway, their view is obstructed, so they're not going to see the traffic yeah, coming down. I mean, it's pretty clear. There's no parking. I understand yeah, that. Come on. You're busting my balls. I'm making I'm, a freaking delivery. I'm not busting your balls. You're I mean, busting you, my balls. You, you're, you're blocking the driveway. You're on the wrong way on a one-way street. So, I mean, you should have backed in or at least pulled in the right way. It's about 90 degrees out. It's humid. And I got to push this all the way around and up into a building and carry it to a second floor. It's a ball-breaking job, and I got to get a ticket for being parked on the wrong side of the road. If you have any problems, you can turn it over. You can plead not guilty. You can, you can have your day in court. Parking in prohibited area, $30. I'm trying to get a job done over here. I mean, it's not you personally. I mean, this city wouldn't be here if we weren't here putting up walls for you well, guys to run around and give people I, tickets. I can appreciate that, but if you are parked illegally. I can't illegally. appreciate it because, you, you know, you're busting well, my walls. Plus the signs and the ordinances, that's it. I mean, you could find somebody with a parking meter or something. Don't bother the guy making a delivery to the building. There's no other way to do it. I know he's he's got a job to do, but I mean, you have to do it in a safe manner, and that wasn't that wasn't safe at all. So that was actually kind of an easy one. That's the end of that for uh, for today. But you never know. I don't know what's around the next corner. We got a hit. Yep. All right. You 
know they're coming out for that one because people are usually in these stores. Wow. If we can get the boot on first, where they don't see. We got a restaurant, a bar here. I'm really surprised no one's running out. I'm just watch and make sure nobody runs up. Oh, nuts. Shoot. Oh, boy. Not again, Garfield. My wrench isn't catching for some reason. And I just hope nobody comes out wanting to pick a fight. Go, 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 go. This is wrong. Get up, Garfield. Oh, Garfield, stand Sir, up. Sir, your car is booted for unpaid parking. You cannot touch but this. I don't care if I'm on TV. Right. This is wrong. OK, you owe parking tickets. You owe parking tickets. It's wrong, and it's, I'm pissed off about it. It's not fair. My business is right here. I get tickets here all the time, and I've gone to traffic court for this, and they don't listen to me. Now, that is totally ridiculous. I probably owe about $300. You can pay on the phone with a Visa debit or credit card. My business is right here, my place tavern. I just brought a delivery in five minutes ago, and these guys are booting me now. Are. You got a job to do too. Everybody says they're doing their job, but they're not doing it properly. Oh, uh, this is another problem. I can't get this wrench on there. Okay, you have at least three tickets, but if you want to fight some tickets, then you can go down and maybe. I, the bottom line is this is wrong what they're doing here. Frankly, I just want to fight. Why does this boot have to give me trouble? I'm not taking it off in front of this guy for sure because he's pretty agitated. I'm just hoping I can find a wrench that'll fit on this thing. There's people that owe tens and thousands of dollars. Those are the people you should boot. Hurry up, Garfo. Not a guy that owns $250. It pays all his taxes and does everything he's supposed to do. Uh, this car has no end to problems. This is unjust what these people are doing. Every time I think I got it tight, it starts to loosen up on me. Finally, Ooh, that was a tough one. I have other deliveries to make to other businesses that I own, and I can't get to them now. People who okay. feel like they're not being uh, treated fairly love to fight. Because you guys are really wrong. OK, well, I, I can understand your feeling. Unfortunately, fighting them with us really doesn't help your case as far as. And that's why I'm not fighting with you. Yeah, I know I mean, you get you know, a memo to hunt me down. And well, no, we just pass by and we chuck all the tags coming so down. you're telling me you did the, the other three cars in line before you got to mine? We did it all down Broad Street. We just check all the cars that we see. We don't know anything about where the car is registered, who it belongs to. We can't tell any information like that. What time are they open till down there? If you want to fight a hearing, you need to go before 6. OK, I'm heading down now. All right. Judge might be very understanding of this gentleman. He may throw out three or four of those tickets. Who knows? But we are not the judges, and we cannot adjudicate any ticket. Everybody should know about this, because it's not fair what's happening with the Philadelphia Parking Authority. I guess it's making me feel like, oh, I did miss this, didn't I? Not really. <laughs> I certainly hope the next one will be easier. Service. No problem. I'll send them right over. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just got a call from um, Capital One over there in Bainbridge. They got some cars in the lot. All right. See, this guy's basically treating the bank parking lot as a loading zone and going inside the Chinese place. That's not going to happen on my watch. What's up, buddy? What's up? Is yours? Yes. Do you know why it's being towed? No. This is a Capital One parking lot. Using... Yeah, I'm going to the bank. Yeah, you're using I it. Capital One. Yes, I was going to make a, make a payment right now. Yeah, you can't use this place as a loading zone for wherever you're doing. It's not your personal business well, place to I do did, what you're I did. I asked doing. once, and they said okay. Nah. I, know I'm, I have a payment. Nah. I have Capital One. It's not okay for you to park here and use it as your personal loading zone. If you want, you can pay the job fee, or the car is going to go back to the impound. Well, can I speak to them there? Yeah, you can speak to them. They're basically going to tell him he can't use the parking lot as his personal loading zone. 
but at the end of the day, he's wrong. This like I said earlier, you see all these signs? All these signs are here for a reason, so yeah. you can know. So you're paying the tow, or am I taking the car, boss? I'll get the car ready for tow. OK, let me take the one load and then take it. So it looks like I'll be taking this one back to the yard. This guy's one weird customer. As I say, another one bites the dust. Oh, man. He's walking back. Can you give me five minutes to go to the house? I live right there. Give me five minutes to go to the house. Yes, I want to meet up some cash. I'll go to the bank. Hold on. Yo, yo. Yo, hold up so he wants to know if he can pay. Go ahead. 136. Yeah, he said it's cool. 40. Have a good day. This Yeah, same thing is about money. I let him pick it up and drive it. You know, I would rather pick him money, but no, I want him to work and do his stupid job. Now he's a friendly guy. I wish the van fell on him and he died. What can I say? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's what I call a real productive day. Another day in the neighborhood. There's another car in the loading zone. Not a commercial vehicle. Nobody's delivering, picking up. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, sir. I have to give. You should have told me. You gotta leave something out. You can't. You don't have a commercial truck or nothing. Once I'm in ticket mode, nothing I can do. You said to me last week. Oh, I know your car. I didn't even work last week. Oh, two weeks ago. What is it? Two weeks? Two weeks or last week? Because I don't remember saying that. What are you delivering? In the restaurant? Yeah, what do you mean your son's in here? Huh? I have a son right here. I just didn't put it in the window. So you understand that you, you forgot? Forgot it. All right. Yeah, just put the sign in. You know that. How much? It's only $30. Only $30? Oh, that's coming out of your ass, man. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, sir. No Have a good day. He took it well, and next time I'm sure he's going to put his tag up. I did the crime, so now I got to pay the time. I just do my job, you know. I don't go out of my way to ruin anybody's day. Look at this place. This is a mess. Uh-oh. We're walking up on our biggest fan over here. How you doing, man? I'm just waiting for somebody in the gas station. Can you wait for him in the gas station for me? Thanks, man. <laughs> so you got another one. Yeah. Sir, how long you gonna be, man? We're well, not leaving it. We're not gonna do this. Yeah, I know, but you can't double park. Beat it! Look, Beat it! you need to calm down. Beat it! You need to calm down. Beat it! Okay? I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I know that. I'm just trying to do my job. You no, are, like, not. in the middle of the street. All the cars are going in the other lane. No, Jeff. You can park it right there I and unload. No. I, I'll go fight the ticket. No. All right, I'm going to ask one more time what's it going to be, and then five I'm just going to write the ticket. Five minutes. Say five minutes, Jerry. Yeah, I'll forget it. I'm going to go. Sorry about that, man. I'm just trying to do my job, OK? He has a terrible temper. Oh, my God, I know. It is a shame. Laws are made to be obeyed. It's difficult, but you must obey the law. You should get a real job. Got another one up here. Let's go check it out. Nobody in the vehicle. Got this guy last week. He wasn't too happy. I think that's a dirty trick. It happens all the time. It's constant. You got to be kidding me, dude. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, man. You got the same ticket last week, and you do it again. You can't leave your car unattended like this. I'm not dropping off an ice cream cone. Listen. I'm picking blood up, cuz. I was in here for two seconds. Listen, I can't take this back. I'm just doing my job, man. And I'm trying to do my job. There's no parking on this street. I'm saving people's lives. He's the only person that gives tickets for the whole city. You. Nah, there's actually like a couple hundred employees here, man. I've been coming to that office for 14 years. I never received a ticket. You can't leave your car in the middle of the street. I, I understand that, but it's not an ice cream truck, cuz it's a Jefferson. I'm picking blood. People are dying in that office. Okay. They're dying in there. You're writing tickets like every other day. It's my job, man. I know, and that's my job to go save people's lives. This is not the only street you can park on. Do yourself a favor. Park across the street right there. 
911. Put it on the windshield. That's 911, tell the police. I called the police for you. That's all right. No, it's not. Every time I'm out here, I get harassed. See, it's oh, not just you, her. man. I'm not harassed. It's not just you. I'm I try doing my job. I understand yeah, that. Well, listen, I'm not a... Mind your business, lady. Get out of the I understand that you work for the hospital, okay? But this is my beat. I need to enforce it. It's nothing against you. It's a ticket. You know you're wrong. You know you're I wrong. I know I'm wrong. You're right. So have a nice one, all right? All right, take care of yourself. I got another $51 ticket that I got to go pay out of my pocket now. But I'd rather have him harass me than her because she looks like she'll bite you. I had to make the delivery of a 90-year-old man across the street because he couldn't be here for five minutes. All right. I'm here 28 years. Cops are here on the scene. The older woman called the police on me for doing my job. She ain't getting the ticket, so I don't understand what the problem is. It's not a beef delivery. He gave a Pepsi Cola truck. He gave a beer distributor. That's the rules, though. If you want to change the ticket, them. we can. We're not part of bargaining. Tell me We're what police. to do We're when I will. Marsh is out here crying up a storm, saying she's being harassed, but I'm just doing my job. I said enough. He doesn't belong in the neighborhood. Officers. Double park is double park. They're causing a traffic hazard out here. Exactly. That's my whole point. Be safe, guys. Talk to the cops. Cops, of course, were on my side because I'm trying to follow the rules, but she hates me no matter what, so you gotta laugh with it. You gotta take the go with the bed. I don't even think she drives.